Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here. In today's video, we will be breaking down how exactly the different timing of events works in Vigor. Stuff ranging from how long an encounter is to how long it takes signals to recharge, disrupt or to cancel its effects, and how long a phone will ring before hanging up, and more things that you guys generally showed interest in. Before I start, all the data I gathered is posted in the VSL Discord under the chat called VSL Regular Information, or VSLRI. If you ever forget the numbers I use in my video, or you want to check them out yourself and see the entire collection of data I've ever collected, you can check it there. But let's get right into this. So let's start off with the data that has to do with the general events of the encounter. Starting off with the maximum length of an encounter, in case you didn't know, if you get to 20 minutes into an encounter, the match will automatically eject you. The only way you can do this is by using unlimited amounts of iodine, and it used to be possible in earlier updates, but nowadays it is not. That is the longest amount of time you can be in an encounter, but as I just said, it's not really something you should be worrying about nowadays because I don't really think it is possible to make it to this point anymore without an extremely boosted lobby and a lot of other people also running iodine. Next on to something slightly more normal, we have how far into the match you are when the airdrop incoming message is arriving. You get that at 8 minutes and 30 seconds, meaning 30 seconds later at 9 minutes, which is when the airdrop hits the ground. So you have 30 seconds from there till the airdrop. 3 minutes after the airdrop hits the ground when radiation enters the encounter. And really, the radiation is going to take around 1 to 2 minutes to cross over the entire map. It really depends on the map size and really a lot of other factors um knowing back a little bit to another interesting state of time in the encounter is seven minutes into the encounter or one minute and 30 seconds before the airdrop incoming message is the last point you're allowed to use comms you're not allowed to use comms any point after that it doesn't work anymore um each usage of comms takes two minutes to recharge to be used again um, this means at max the comms can be used three times, so yeah. Moving on, we can consider the amount of time each event in Vigor takes. So starting off, we have the safe, which takes one minute to open. This honestly felt wrong, because safe always feels like it takes forever to open, so I was really surprised to learn it is just this short. Next up, we have the disruptor tower, which after hitting will take you two minutes to wear off and deactivate, meaning you'll either have two minutes of info silence, or if you exit the circle you can get out of that. This is another one that just feels way longer in practice, and it's surprising to learn it really is only two minutes. Disruptor is not the only thing that takes two minutes, though. Along with it is signals and the ringing of a phone. This means if you wish to time the signals, hitting a phone and waiting for it to auto hang up is actually a viable method of doing so. So I don't know. You guys can use that if you want to. Next up, we have the time safe, which is extremely unforgiving, as it is only 25 seconds between hitting the first button and the wet, it resetting, which is very short. I really thought it was in the 30s to 45 seconds, but it's not. It's 25. Uh, if anything, I would suggest increasing that to the devs. Finally, we have cars, which will blare their horns for 10 seconds after being shot, so really only a momentary reveal to the rest of encounter. But again, this is another one where it's like, this is only 10 seconds. It, it normally feels a little longer. Um, but yeah. Hopefully you guys found these stats interesting and helpful. They're just kind of random little details um, that I don't think have too much pertinence, but they're interesting to me, and I hopefully they were interesting to you. But until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. See you all next time.